This is a Fortune 500 company. And these people think that my first thought on a Saturday morning, mind you, is, oh no, who's pushing Home Depot's buggies around? I can't do nothing at a time like this. I need some help. Would you help me, ma'am? Would you help me, sir? Probably not. You know why? Because all you people are the ones that left your cards everywhere. I saw you people looking at me from the other end of the parking lot. <laughs> oh, I hope there's a seat. I'm going to put the cart in the grass where I know it doesn't go. Come on, guys. Some of the people laughing because it's true. Other people looking at me like, he's making fun of us. Why is he here? I had an old lady that did one time. She put the cart in the grass. She looked right at me. She goes, I know you don't like it when I do this, but I'm old. Uh, I don't like old people. Get the car back where you got it. It's, if you're old, how come the handicap's though, okay? It's closer. If you're in a handicap sign, guess what? We're freaking Home Depot. Go buy some paint, we'll make you one. All right. It's not just the customers either, it's the, it's the employees also. If everybody got that dumb employee that you work with? All of you are the dumb employee that work with? Audience participation is a must in common. There you go. Right. Point at him. I don't care. I know you guys work together. Go ahead. All right. Nobody wants to admit it. Vincent is my dumb employee. Vincent. Vincent came up to me one day. Uh, he goes, Josh, there's a car being stolen outside. And I'm the first person that came to see about this, Vince, because uh, I said, is it mine? He goes, no. Well, uh, <laughs> well, when you find out whose car it is, tell him I said, good luck on walking home. Um, kind of rough. Don't, don't moan. You need to laugh or not moan or not do anything. Like these fine people over here. Um, <laughs> but yeah. And then uh, we get out there just as the car is being stolen. And Vince wants to yell, Josh, stop the car! That's right, because I'm super Home Depot when I'm not pushing the <laughs> car. Alright, Vince, I'll flip my apron and make it a cape just for you, buddy. There you go. Hey, stop the car or I'll push a cart. Uh, if you want to stop, please. So then we, uh, the cop showed up a week later, you know, HBD. Always on something. It's kind of a fairy way to tell. Uh, but, uh, can everybody hear me? Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of conversations in the bag. There's a lot of people just staring at me, so I'm just trying to make sure that everybody's paying attention. <laughs> Uh, but the cop shows up, and the first question he asks me, Josh, how come they didn't stop in the car? Vince is like, I told him to do that, sir. I was right there. I told him to do it. Did you guys go to the same high school? Yeah. Come on, man. Um, come on now. Not everybody wants to command man in here. There's a lot of people that look like birth crackers when we all go to the beach, so it's. Alright. I think I've offended pretty much everybody in the room by right now. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, I was at a. Yeah. Come in, man. But then Vince is like, oh, well, if I'd been there, oh, uh, I would have stopped it. I'm like, Vince, you were standing right next to me. What would you have done? He's like, well, I would have stood in front of it. Wow, Vince. Shit, it's only that one way out there. Why did he push your ass in front of the vehicle, dude? Okay, we'll just stay away from violence and children and Japanese and Home Depot and pretty much everything. We just had an election. President Bush is president again. All right. I'm back on my side. I didn't like Carrie. Carrie scared me. Only because I watched Lord of the Rings and then I watched the debate. President Carrie kind of looked like that evil tree that the hobbits were walking on. Some of you know what I'm talking about. It's not all right. There's a speech you walk, talk, and act. It's like, come on, country. I don't like that. Let's go. But if you look at Bush, he kind of looks like a hobbit. Um, it just, he does. You know? Didn't you see it during the debate? They pan the camera over to him. He's sitting over there playing with a microphone. Like, precious. Precious. <laughs> I see odd stuff all the time. I saw on the news the other day that uh, the Chinese people have had an AIDS epidemic, uh, but I think they needed one. <laughs> um, 